What is going on guys? It is Vapes in here coming at you with an all new e-juice. No, no. With an all new review today, what I'm going to be reviewing is the Hercules Sub Tank. And we're going to get all up closey here in a little bit. And I'm going to give her a couple vapes up here, talk about what I first thought about it. And then we're going to get up close. So just give me just a second and we'll be rolling, baby. So I just recently got this mod or this uh, sub tank about three or four days ago, give or take. Uh, I was sitting there at the store and I was wanting another sub tank until my smoke TG or TFV4 came in. So what I planned on doing was getting a cheap little sub tank until then so I could use it at work while I'm driving, etc, etc. Well, uh, the guy at the vape shop recommended this Hercules to me. And uh, he said it was only 33 bucks, so I figured, yeah, heck yeah, I'll pick it up. He said that everybody has been, you know, pretty much crazy about this sucker. So I was like, alright man, I was like, if, if I'll take your word for it since everything you've recommended to me before has been pretty decent, uh, I'll definitely take your word for it. So I picked her up and uh, went out in the car, of course, as soon as I got out in the car, I took her out, dripped her, or not dripped her, filled her up, started vaping on her and thought, wow, I was like, this thing is pretty, pretty decent for, you know, not being at home, being out, whatever. Uh, yeah, I thought that it was a pretty decent tank. It comes with a lot of varieties of coils, I believe. I'm not sure about all of the coils, but because I haven't really found much about it online, honestly. But I do know for a fact it comes with 0.6 and 0.15 ohm coils. I know that for a fact. But we're going to get all up closey here in just a second. And Vapeson is ready to dive down and get ready to... I don't know. We're just going to dive Here down the and let's do it. Here is my Hercules came in. Just a nice cardboard box with a plastic front. And sorry I have a little tear in mine. It's, uh, it's just because, you know, when I got it I ripped it open. But whatever, it happens. Um, as you can see, this is Hercules. From since is coming to break the silence of high wattage atomizer market. It brings improved adjustable airflow and sub ohm coils. 0.6 ohm coil in the tank, 0.2 ohm coil for replacement will provide similar performance to do it yourself atomizer. 30 to 75 watts and 0.2 ohm low resistance coil will give all vapors a new experience of huge vapor. Just like Hercules action in this 12 labors, senses Hercules is showing his power. Contents of the tank include complete Hercules tank, replacement atomizer, replacement Pyrex glass tube. As you can see, there's all that scratch coating for authenticity. Boom, bada bang. It's down here. That's what you scratch off for your authenticity, as you can see. And we're going to crack her open for you real quick. Alright, so it just opens up at the top. And you pull on this. Oops, and I just ripped it off. Pull on this. And here is your tank. Right here. I'll go ahead and set that aside once I get her popped out of there. There's your tank. Here is your Pyrex tube. And here is your replacement coil. This is, I believe it's a nickel wire coil. I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty positive they have a nickel coil. It says it's a point two m coil. But he told me that the black tank came with the nickel wire coil. Hold on. Yeah, it says NI. Hold on. Um, let me see if I can get that to focus. There's a little bit of a glare. NI 200, as you can see right there. And your coil is going to consist of one coil vertical with cotton all the way around. It doesn't have the little mesh 
right there inside like a lot of them do nowadays. It doesn't have that. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's not focusing very well today. I don't know why. I need to learn a lot more about this camera. It would definitely help me a lot. But yeah, there's your coil. As you can see, that's the nickel coil. And I'm going to go ahead and take this tank apart for you guys here in just a second. Alrighty, so here is everything. And what you want to do, first of all, you can screw this bottom off. And there is my coil. This is the point to um, regular coil. I'm pretty positive it's not nickel wire. I'll go ahead and unscrew that. It's supposed to be the .6 coil that came in it, but I'm running this on my eye stick. That's what I was planning on running it on. So I was, I put the .2 ohm coil inside of it. Yeah, this is just the regular .2 ohm coil, as you can see. Just regular .2 ohms. Should say the wattage. Yeah. 30 to 75 watts. See, I run it at 50 watts, and that is perfect. That's what he said I would need for uh, this. Uh, this coil is the one he said I would need for the eye stick, and it definitely works like a champ on the eye stick. I can tell you that right now. You can go ahead and focus now, little buddy. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty, there's the inside, guys. You got your mesh on top. You got your nice, good-looking holes to saturate your wick. They're definitely big enough, and there's one, two, three, four. There's four holes. So that's always nice. But it's definitely a good looking coil. I mean, it's decent sized. It's about like, you know, any other one. I'm sure that you could probably rebuild these coils. Look just like about how you would build the other ones. I'd say you would pop this out and, you know, just build away. It's got that rubber seal down on the bottom. Um, but enough about the coil. I'm going to go ahead and look at the tank. And look at that. Is that not gorgeous? That shaft. Excuse my language. <laughs> that shaft is just straight up sick. I love it. Nice and wide. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous shaft. It's got those holes right there for the cot or the juice to just pour right in there. And it's, I mean, it's, I haven't got a burn hit on this sucker yet. You do have to prime your coil, you know. Everybody has to prime their coil. But even as I'm priming it, I can hit it at the same time. And there we go. I wonder if the top screws off. I'm not sure if it does or not. I'm sure it has to to get your tank out. Yes, it does. Boom. There's your tank. Pyrex. Glass. Here's everything. All taken apart. We're going to go ahead and put her back together. Take her back up to face cam. And we're going to give her a couple vapes, and I'm going to talk about it and let you guys know what I think and my final thoughts on this beast. Alrighty, guys, we're going to zoom out so you can see all the parts. And we're going to go ahead and take her back up to face cam. I might even slide that nickel coil in there just to see how it vapes on temperature control. I've not really messed with temperature control very much, but I might go ahead and slide that nickel coil in there and slide her on my IPV just to see how it does. Um, and we'll hit you back right on face cam here in just a second, guys. Alrighty, peace. What's up, guys? We're back to face cam. We got her sitting on my eye stick right now. Currently, I'm probably going to slide her on my IPV with that temperature control coil with that nickel coil. And we're going to give her a couple vapes. I'm going to let you know what I think about this uh, sub tank. And we're going to, yeah, just let you know what I think about it, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little bit lunatic sometimes. But here we go. We got this eye stick set at 50 watts. I got the .2 ohm coil in it. She's fully charged. And she's ready to rock. Here we go. Hold on, let me just set air flow a little bit. See, first thought on this tank.
it kind of has a restricted draw but I mean honestly with a lot of these tanks they have to they have to have a restricted draw unlike the Triton which in my opinion the Triton was just a complete guzzler garbage ass piece of shit um, and I literally could not believe how bad that I got Jude on that like honestly I mean I really did get Jude over the guy talked so so good about the tank and I literally barely got any flavor and it just chucked clouds with the coolest vape like wasn't even hot wasn't even a hot type of vape you can't build on the thing for shit uh, it was just garbage but to get good flavor and good warm vape out of a sub tank a lot of times you're going to need a restricted draw I mean, I tell you, the flavor that I get off this sucker is killer. It definitely has a decent ass, a decent ass shaft to push all that flavor up through. The airflow is not the best. I mean, the adjustable airflow, I'm sorry, I forgot about that, is right here. It doesn't show any individual holes that I can see. Yeah, maybe it does. You can just barely, barely see them. I don't know if it's going to show that on the camera. Yeah, you see that little sparkle in the middle, which is very, very hard to see. There's a little sparkle right there in the middle of those crevices. But it's going to go away as I twist. Okay. And now it's back again. So I'm going to go ahead and see which one is wide open. I didn't even know it had these. I couldn't see those. Okay, so now it's wide open. There's three different settings that you can get. I'm sorry you can't see that. I don't know if any camera would pick that up. <laughs> you can barely, barely see it. It's just like a little wide, wide spot in there. Um. See, now I lost it. It's so small. Okay, okay, I see it again. But it has, let's see, three different settings. Alright, one, two, three, and four. It has four different settings. Four different airflow settings. I got her set to wide open. You can, I mean, if you set it to the smallest setting. You can get a little bit of a mouth to lung hit. As you can see, the widest setting, you can definitely get a lung hit, but it's, a, it's restricted, as I said. I'm currently vaping Sky by the Cloud Company through this. And it definitely chucks for having such a tight, restricted draw. If I had this set over 50 watts, it would definitely chuck a lot better and have a lot hotter of a vape. But that's all the, this high stick goes to. It's hitting 50 watts at 3.8 volts. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's what it's hitting at. Um, yeah, that was definitely my first thought about this sucker is that it, it definitely has a tight draw and that's going to take a little bit of getting used to since I'm so used to my RDAs like my Kanger sub tank. I have the first version of the Kanger sub tank and it's, it's even a little bit better of a draw than this. But you still get your lung hits, you still get kick ass flavor, kick ass throat hit and kick ass vapor. It's just not going to be as good as you know, say the TFV4, it's not going to have as good airflow as that. It's not going to have as good airflow as the new sub tanks. It's not going to have as good airflow as the Spire uh, Triton or the Spire. I always forget what that one is called. My goodness. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. The one before the, the Atlantis, the Spire Atlantis. It's not going to have as good as the Atlantis sub tank Triton. Uh, Le Lima Limo, it's not gonna have as good as either of those, but it still chucks the flavor and it's 33 freaking dollars at my local vape shop, which is very overpriced. I mean, 
think about it in that way. It's a cheap, good running, indestructible mod or sub tank that you can take out, you can vape it while you're driving rather than dripping at a stoplight, spilling all your juice all over yourself and having to do it so fast that you flood the tank out. You know what I mean? I mean, it's great for the price. It's great for, you know, whatever you need to do. If you need to vape at work on a sub tank like this setup right here, it would be perfect. You would get satisfied throughout the day. You would get a decent, you know, decent vape. Another thing, if you're really trying to test out a juice's flavor, this would be a kick-ass choice. It has hella, hella flavor. And of course it's a guzzler, just like all the other sub-tanks. You're not going to get a freaking sub-tank that's not a guzzler. All of them are going to guzzle just like an RDA. I mean, pretty much a lot of the rebuildable sub-tanks are pretty much a single coil RDA underneath of a tank that sucks in juice through holes. I mean, it's the same freaking thing. These coils, the guy uh, told me that they would last around two, three weeks, give or take. I've been vaping on this for a solid three or four days, and they have not given out on me whatsoever yet. So the coils will last a good, you know, decent amount of time. In my local shop, it's four bucks for per coil, twenty dollars for five, which is, I mean, you don't get no deal on five coils. I mean, I'm sure you can find them a hell of a lot cheaper online. overall rating on this sucker I'm probably gonna half have to give it an 8 out of 10 just for the fact of it's cheap it's indestructible coils last a while hella hella flavor it's restricted draw but you know whatever who cares as long as you get a good good vape it doesn't matter it's this this bit this tank is not going to be for you cloud chasers out there if you're looking to get a sub tank that's going to chuck like your RDA you're going to guzzle down juice so quick it's it's literally going to be like a 30 mil in two days I mean I promise you it's going to guzzle it quicker than your RDA will I promise you it's going to I'm going to go ahead and pop this sucker inside or the uh, nickel coil inside of my IPV real quick and we're going to see how it vapes like that temperature control wise here we go guys got her set up She's hitting at 45 watts, if it'll show that. 45 watts. And we got her set at 370 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a, it's probably, might be backwards for you guys, but yeah, as you can see, 45 joules on the IPv3 Li. 0.28 ohm coil, which is supposed to be 0.2 ohms, but it is pretty much. 4.88 volts, 370 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 watts or joules. The sucker goes all the way up to 50 watts. And we're going to go ahead and set her at 50. Okay, I'm going to give her a couple vapes, zoom this out, or back in. Zoom this out, I'm going to give her a vape, and I'm going to show you guys the vapor production. I'm going to talk about the flavor for temperature control and all that good jazz. And here we go. As you can see, it chucks pretty decent. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. It looks a little bit It looks a little bit short on camera than it really is. I got the airflow set to wide open and uh, I primed the coil up. I got it with the sky juice as I had it before. Sky by Cloud Company and it's pretty decent. I I would recommend this to anybody that doesn't like to drip and drive, that doesn't like to hit their dripper at work. I mean, it's cheap and if I if I broke this thing or whatever, I would go out and buy a new one right after. I'm dead serious. It's a hell hell of a sub tank. It like I said, it's indestructible. I can see this thing lasting a long, long time. Looks great on that IPV. It comes in black and silver. I believe the black one is the only one that comes with the nickel coil. Thirty-three dollars at my local vape shop that is overpriced. Um, Vapesin is going to give this an eight, solid 8 out of 10 rating and let me know what you guys think about the Hercules sub tank and I am out. 
Dose.